G'day YouTube. In the last video I just finished mounting the motors. I need to mount the batteries to try and work out where the controller box is going to go. My original thoughts was to weld a couple of tabs and just stick a piece of plywood on top of the rails. But part of me would like to make some straps and mount the batteries lower, but it could potentially catch. So I've decided on a happy medium and to weld some steel to the bottom of the rails. In the last video you'd have seen that I weighed the frame and I weighed as much as I did. So in order to try and cut down the weight as much as I can, I've taken some box section and cut it in half. And that will form the bottom plate here where the batteries are going to go. I did a quick mock-up to determine the position of the controller box. I've just propped it up on a brick for now, just to give me a little bit of an idea of uh, location. I contemplated briefly putting the controller box where the battery is going, and thought that I may just build a stand up above the top of the controller box and put the batteries up here. But it makes it difficult to get a decent antenna to the controller box. So I've decided to go back to the original idea and put it on top. Uh, when you weld it pulls the material closer together and uh, what I should have done was start bigger to then basically pull it square. I started square and I thought if I tack the sides it would stop it pulling in but it didn't so probably a couple of degrees off where I want to be. Not that it's the end of the world, I mean it's a bracket to hold the controller box, but I still don't, I still don't like it regardless. You're a perfectionist. Yeah, I know. 1.4 degrees out. I might just make the other side the same so it's symmetrical. Only a stand, Paul. You don't need to bloody have it perfect. So forget about it. Telling someone with OCD to forget about it is a lot like telling someone not to sneeze. It's easier said than done.
I had to trim the legs again because I added some additional bracket height. I was originally going to put some flat tabs on, but changed my mind. Here I'm cleaning up the inside corners so they sit flush against the rail.
Now that the bracket is sufficiently complete, I can turn my attention to something I've been looking forward to, and that's wiring up the control box. Not sure it will happen in the next video, but I hope to see this running under its own power shortly. That's it for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.